What's up, people? See, this is happening when you're trying to be helpful and help people. They want to talk about you. Junk! Look, I am drinking a clear fruit. I am not drunk. I ain't braided in over 20 years. Now they want I'm focused. I'm focused, y'all. This is my daughter. Give me a hard time. Drunk. I'm not drunk. Now hold the phone. <laughs> what is you laughing for? <laughs> Why is you laughing? Hey. So they ended up having an unplanned pregnancy. And the fact of the matter is... Drinking, drinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, drink it. Patty and step right water! Get <laughs> drunk off water! Do their best to People, get drunk and off water. <laughs> Why? Get, get drunk off grapes. This water! <laughs> and grapes is grapes. <laughs> what? What's the grapes? <laughs> Cause they put something in the in the grapes to make wine. Well, who put something in the water? I don't know. Who else put well, it in the water? Why you ain't drunk? Cause you're drinking water just like me. Young couple steps up. I don't know. Maybe it's just a cherry kind. Happy, you know. She thinks she's with the love of her life. They ain't drunk. They have a child, which kind of solidifies the relationship. But just as their relationship is stronger. The bond I can't believe I ain't breaking 20 years. Now you want me to just pick up like... It's like riding a bike. <laughs> <laughs> riding a damn bike. <laughs> Who taught you that one? It is. Jimmy, she left Sierra. She left Carino. That ain't got nothing to do with your party yesterday. You know, this is devastating. What's that excuse? It's for living your mother. Sierra is not about to be old. She left me off. No. That's just a fairy tale. <laughs> what? It's a fairy tale. Have a greater purpose. Now we have to take care of these two children and a grandchild. You know, he kind of adopted these kids. He wants to them. <laughs> but when he finds out that Sierra is pregnant yet again, he pulls her aside and reveals his true feelings about Juan. So he has a conversation with Sierra, and he mentioned to her that. You know, I don't think Juan is good for you. I don't think this is the guy that you want to spend the rest of your life with. No, I feel like letting it go. Clear, she loves Juan, and she's going to stand by her man. No See what I'm saying, y'all? See what I'm it's saying? It's evident to Jimmy. He's stuck with Juan, so he lays down some ground. Just like Brian without the weed. Enough to spend the night. You better grip it. That's the main thing. Get the grip. Juan basically moved into Jimmy's home, and he gave Sierra undivided attention all the time. And Sierra needed that. Jimmy had no problems with Juan coming around for the baby and Sierra, but he was not going to enable Juan to preload off of him. Give me a Barbie doll. Doesn't exactly yeah, because you got to practice. Sierra wanted Juan out the house regardless of how Jimmy felt. There were times that Juan would stay the night, you know, two or three nights out of the week. And soon, the young couple have another little bundle of joy to take care of. Now that he has two kids with Sierra, Juan is around even more. And things between he and Jimmy often get heated. It was very hostile because Jimmy just wanted to be at his house. But Juan, whenever he came, uh, tried to rule his house. There were arguments uh, constantly between Jimmy and Juan. When cooler heads prevail, Jimmy decides it's time to talk to Juan, man to man. Juan essentially wanted to live there rent free. That Jimmy said, you know, you're going to have to contribute to the household. You're going to have to really Step it up. Juan well, didn't have a job, so financially he couldn't contribute to paying the bills or any of the groceries. As the months go by, the now crowded house is making a serious <laughs> dent in Jimmy's bank. <laughs> what? And when he learns that Sierra is pregnant yet again with their third child, the gracious grandpa hits his breaking point. And you finally said, Juan, you have to go. And at that point, Juan said, No way. I'm not going oh, that's anywhere. Great. 
you leave. One was I'm gonna let some old man push him around and intimidate him, and so threats were that? made. Sierra Whoa, said what's the difference between this one? The two most important men in the world, but heads. And as things yeah, escalate, Jimmy sees a side of the younger man that he's never seen Let's before. Look fat. And I it's think he really, for the first time, was afraid of Juan. And Jimmy actually had to leave his own home. And he went to stay with a friend so that he could figure things out. For the next several days, the young couple enjoys free reign of the house with their kids. While Jimmy must come to terms with his dire cash flow problems. He was in jeopardy of losing his home. So Jimmy had to reach out to his sister for help because this home had been in their family for years. Jimmy explains the situation he's in and how it's drained him emotionally and financially. I can't let them go out on the street. I'm worried about. Oh. She listens intently and tells her brother that she's willing to bail him out. She'll take over the payments on the house. Jimmy was going to turn over the deed to his sister. But there's one condition. He's the only one she wants living there. She said, I'll help you, but you have to get rid of oh, no, all of those people in your home. This was a very difficult situation for Jimmy because he really didn't want to have mm. to kick Sierra out of the <laughs> See? House. See how they do me? Work me to death to talk about me. To deal with I'll kick with y'all later. In a 